all non-essential businesses shall close their physical workplaces and facilities to all workers, customers, and the public. But the killing is continuing in Massachusetts after Republican Governor Charlie Baker's decision to keep abortion mills open during the Wuhan virus pandemic. A document from the state's executive office of Health and Human Services explicitly states that, quote, terminating a pregnancy is not considered a non-essential elective invasive procedure, unquote. Faithful Catholics were expecting a swift response from the Archdiocese of Boston, but no formal condemnations of Baker's actions were released. Though firmly claiming to be pro-life, Boston Cardinal Sean Patrick O'Malley is remaining silent on the issue. Baker isn't the first pro-abortion politician he's associated with. In 2009, he attended abortion advocate Ted Kennedy's funeral where he defended his participation saying, quote, we will not change hearts by turning away from people in their time of need and when they are experiencing grief and loss, unquote. This isn't the first time Governor Baker's actions were met with silence from Cardinal O'Malley either. Despite advisory from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops stating that pro-choice speakers should never be given a Catholic platform. O'Malley has allowed Governor Baker to speak for Boston Catholic Charities in 2017, 2019, and 2020, and the Boston Catholic School Foundation in 2018 as a surprise guest. O'Malley has released no statements on his reasoning, and faithful Catholics are asking themselves, why? Joseph Enders, Church Militant, Detroit. It's born in a community where every person counts.